Hi YouTube, this is Andrew here in my new install of Ubuntu 13.04. Now, as you may have known from my previous screencasts, I was a fan of Linux Mint 14 Cinnamon. But the reason why I changed to Ubuntu 13.04 is because um, I had been doing I had been I had been dual booting on on my Dell XPS 13 and for some reason one of the USB ports had stopped working so I tried it I tried it again in Linux in Linux Mint 14 and the USB port worked so I thought okay this must be a driver problem or some sort of software problem so I went on to the to the Dell website. I downloaded downloaded all the software, you know, for drivers and such, and installed them again. There, there were 26 drivers, so that took a long time to download and install. And that was, um, you know, I, I did, did all that, and it still didn't work. So I gave up and thought, okay, I'll just go ahead and and install Linux on the whole hard drive because this clearly is not working for me. So the good thing about about Ubuntu 13.04 is that it um, now it works straight out of the box on my Dell XPS 13. Whereas previously um, I had to go and install the Sputnik kernel because um, things like things like the screen brightness and the trackpad did not work properly. Like the screen had been on max, been on max brightness the whole time, and I couldn't change it. Even if I changed the values, you know, in the files, it wouldn't make a difference. So this is what Dell made. This is what Dell made, and in some six-month sub period, and um, they updated the kernel and made made drivers for various software things, and now. Bluetooth works, the trackpad works, screen brightness is adjustable, it's all good. So thank you Dell for that. And as well, I found that I could install I could install Microsoft Microsoft Office 2010 in Linux. And here it is, Microsoft Word 2010 in Linux, and it works. It's pretty impressive. I, I, I mean, if you aren't impressed by this, well, you should be because it's uh, pretty good. Now, I had a... Okay, so the screencast software I'm using is... um Is Roku... Is... For Roku, maybe? Screencast? Screen? And you get that installed by just... um copy and pasting in these these commands just one by one into terminal pressing enter after each one of course and play on Linux here that's the one you want to install a Microsoft 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 Office 2010 in Linux so 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 Google Play on Linux and you'll go to the downloads page you just press on um, download and press on this one 4.2.1 which is the most recent one press on Ubuntu then type in these copy and type each one just sort of one by one into terminal and um, that's what you need to do and it, it will work um, actually, there was a minor hiccup in Play on Linux. Um, I had to install a dependency that wasn't even mentioned. It was called curl. Um, okay, I'll just... Um, Linux Ubuntu 13.04 curl. I did I did find this before and you just have to install curl or something and it works 
it's quite ridiculous. You know, it's like why isn't this installed in the dependencies? It doesn't make sense. Um, so anyway, if I find that, I'll put it in the descriptions. In description, sorry, of the video, and you can go ahead and do that yourself. So you want to just go ahead and install Play on Linux, then install the dependency, and it will work. And um, as you see, Word and Excel are working in Linux and do all the Excel business and PowerPoint works too. I can open up PowerPoints in Linux and um, Steam is working in Linux. So you have to ask yourself why don't you use Windows? Because you have Word, you have Steam, you have you have you have you have Chromium which is the free and open source version of Chrome, you have Firefox. I mean you have everything you need. I guess the only only, only thing is trying to try to install it onto your system which is um but there's plenty of guides available so anyway thank you for listening and goodbye